Facebook deleted Creator Studio and replaced it with the Meta Business Suite. So if you were previously using Creator Studio to plan your content calendar, or even if you weren't but could use a tool like that to plan out your social media posts, Facebook has one you can use for free. And it comes with free content ideas. So I'm gonna show you how to use the Meta Business Suite Planner right now. First, you'll need to log into Facebook and go to business.facebook.com. Then along the left-hand side, select Planner. So essentially you can see it's like a big calendar specifically for your Facebook page, Instagram account if you have that connected, and your Facebook groups. Right now I'm looking at it for the month, but you can also look at it for the week. And you can see some of the content we currently have scheduled at the time that I'm filming this. You can also filter to view certain content types. The default is to show all content types together, but you can also filter to just view the posts you've got scheduled, stories, reels, or ads. So yes, in case that's news to any of you watching, you can schedule stories out in advance. It's not just posts, reels, and ads. You can also filter to view your content by where you're sharing it. You can view content shared just to your Facebook page, your Facebook group, or your Instagram account. Or of course, you can leave it on all to show any content you've shared to any and all three. From there, if you hit the drop down on the blue create button in the top right, you can create a post, a story, or a reel, bulk upload videos, or post a video across multiple pages. Select the one you wanna post and it'll take you to this creation screen. Now, if you saw my video on how to schedule posts in the Meta Business Suite, you may already be familiar with this process, but I'm gonna give a quick overview here for those who don't know, Plus there's something new here that I don't believe I covered in the other video. So you'll add your photo or video here in the media section, add your text here and toggle on that option if you wanna have a separate caption for Facebook than for Instagram, which is useful in case you wanna have a link in the Facebook post and verbiage like link in the bio and the Instagram caption, et cetera. You've got different features down here you can add, only a couple of which are compatible with both Facebook and Instagram. Most you can only use if you're just posting to Facebook or if you have post customization toggled on. But those features include adding a feeling or activity, a location, a get messages button, A-B split testing, and link preview. Once you've got your post looking the way you want it, you can choose to publish now, schedule it for later, or save it as a draft. Make sure your privacy settings are set to public and you'll be able to preview how your post looks on the right before officially hitting publish or schedule. And lastly, you can boost the post here if you wanna go ahead and do that. Now, the feature that's new here is up above under media where it says use templates. And keep in mind that this is not the free content ideas tool that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. That's something different that we're gonna talk about in a minute. This is an additional free resource here where they're giving you free templates you can customize via Vimeo. They have templates for posts, reels, stories and ads. You can search for something specific or just browse through this main page here to see what they have. Keep in mind the ones that say upgrade will require you to have a Vimeo Pro account to use them and the ones that don't say upgrade will still require you to have at least a free Vimeo account to use them. Now I do have a word of caution about using these templates. You can customize them and that's great. You'll definitely want to customize them with your brand colors and so on. But I have to tell you that social media users today recognize templated stocky posts when they see them. You're more likely to build brand consumer trust, a loyal following, strong engagement, and ultimately sales from social media if you use original content and or templates that were specifically built and branded for you. If you were to take these three posts in this row here, for example, and just change the color of the font to your brand color, it's still not going to look really branded. And even if you change both the color and the font itself, you you still got three different design styles going on here. It's not gonna look cohesive and worse than that, it's probably gonna look like an amateur did it. So unless you've got time and feel super confident in your graphic design abilities, I would advise using templates like this sparingly. Now your other option of course is to hire a professional agency to handle all of your social media marketing for you. So you can focus on what you do best while the sales from social media start to roll in. If that sounds like an option that you are interested in, you should know that that is exactly what we do for small businesses every single day. So you can fill out our contact form for a free custom quote. I have linked it below. All right, now the last part of the Meta Business Suite Planner includes the free content ideas that Facebook gives you. On the Planner home screen, you'll notice here on the right where it says Moments and Drafts. Drafts, by the way, being where you can access any post 
you saved as a draft to work on later. But if you look at moments and scroll through, you'll see that Facebook is highlighting the holidays for any given month. And they give you the option to go ahead and start creating a post for it right then and there. Or you can select from any available templates to get started on a post for it. We talk a lot about social media marketing and content ideas on this channel. And I am always saying, don't forget about national holidays because there are so many recognized days throughout the year beyond just the big ones like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Like what holidays are there in July? You might think the 4th of July. Yes, but what else? There's National Ginger Snap Day, Wildland Firefighter Day, Hawaii Day, Fried Chicken Day, Chronic Disease Day, Cow Appreciation Day, and the list goes on. And that's just for the month of July. There are hundreds of specific holidays like that across the year. So I'm sure a small business from just about any industry could find a day that's related to their product or service and make a post about it. Now, I'm not saying that the Meta Business Planner is gonna have all of these niche holidays in their moment suggestions, but they may have a few and it's definitely worth paying attention to. So comment below and tell me what industry your business is in and I'll see you guys in the next episode.